Sports. To play our live interactive game shows, call it. He is our current champion, whose winnings to date total $34,600. C is a physicist and is challenging him for the championship. They've tied five times and are about to start their sixth game. At stake, the championship and the money, which will reach beyond $9,000. In a moment, we'll find out what happens as... From Hollywood, it's everybody's game of sanity, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And now, here's our host, Wee Wordsdale. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I tell you, if I was going to give the applause award, that would be it. My favorite audience of all time. That was super. Thank you. Nice to have all of you here, and thank you for joining us at home. Now let's meet our current champion, Big Money Man. Our current champion, whose winning total in cash and flight is $34,600, is a computer systems analyst. Meet Eric Treffoli. <laughs> and his opponent is a university professor whose main interest is the study of high energy physics. Meet Dr. Mary Markey. Dr. Mary, may I call you Dr. Mary? Well, you can just call me just Mary. I forgot. All right, Mary, I forgot your mother was in the audience. We're going to show her right now. And I asked, when I hugged her neck, I said, do you mind? Do you think your mother would mind if I did? Mom, did you mind at all me hugging Mary's neck? You, that's not too bad, was it? No, she doesn't mind. Is, is your mom the only representative you have here representing mm -hmm. your cute little self? Thank you. Nice to see you. Are you still a little nervous? Everything's going to be all right now. You reach over there and shake hands with our current champion, Eric, while I stand here and just sort of make you feel at home. Eric, do you know how much you've won so far on Tic Tac Joe? Uh, I think it's 34000 plus tax. <laughs> you know, when they win over 25000 the first thing they get, they go out and hire them a real good tax attorney. That's what he needs. That tax comes to 600 bucks, so it's $34,600 in cash and merchandise. Good luck to you both as we get this game underway. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm sure you remember, last show ended in a tie game. We're about to play the sixth game with Eric and Mary, and these are the categories we're going to be dealing with. Our questions will be built around mixed drinks, Joes and Josephs, movies, mythology, physics, World War II, famous lovers, strange names, and one-word titles. Now, the pot at this point in your match is worth $8,000. There are the categories. Eric, to begin a new game, champion always goes first, so sir, select, please. Once again, I'll take physics before Mary does. Uh, yeah, physics. That happens to be Mary's favorite category. However, Eric, you go first, and this is your first question. During the 1870s, an American physicist named Josiah Gibbs de developed a rule which describes the three phases of all matter. One of these phases is liquid. I want you to name the other two phases. And I'll give you a few extra seconds to think about that. Again, Eric, during the 1870s, an American physicist named Josiah Gibbs developed a rule which describes the three phases of all matter. One of the phases is liquid. You'll have the center box if you can name the other two phases. Gas and solid. Right. That's it. Good for the X. In the center box, and 300 more dollars goes into the pot. By the way, I want to point out, as we do from time to time, when this sort of thing occurs, uh, those scheduling questions on Tic Tac Joe have no idea who the contestants will be when those... Uh, uh, categories are scheduled for one of our uh, shows. So, Mary, I just thought I'd point that out to those of you who, well, because she is a physicist. $8,800 in cash in the pot. Let's move the categories around. And, Mary, it'll be your turn to select. Chaos, okay, take uh, World War II. All right. From the subject of World War II, this question. Mary, the war began in Europe when Germany unleashed its blitzkrieg tactics on Western Europe. What wait, country... Wait, that's I beg your pardon. The war began in Europe when Germany unleashed its blitzkrieg tactics on Eastern Europe. What country was Germany's first conquest? Poland. Yes, that's it. 
I didn't get it right, but you did. So that was down. Put it over there. Let's move the categories around. And that gives you exactly $9,000 pot to work with, Eric. I like my strange names left center, please. All right. In the category of strange names, his first name was Felix, and he was a legal advisor to Woodrow Wilson and Franklin Roosevelt before becoming a Supreme Court justice. His last name is the same as a kind of sausage. Maimon. Frankfurter. Right. Felix Frankfurter. Oh, great name. I love it. Put it next there. Let's shuffle. In the pot, $9,200, Mary. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take mixed drinks to block. You're afraid you're going to have to take it? All right. Let's see what happens as you try to block him with the answer to this, Mary. Irish coffee is a St. Patrick's Day favorite. It's made with hot coffee topped with whipped cream, and a certain spirit is added for a block. Name this spirit. Irish whiskey. You got it. Irish whiskey. Good for a block. Put it over there. Let's move them around. <laughs> Eric. I'd like my um, one-word titles in the top right, please. And so be it. One-word titles. This song's one-word title is a sign of the Zodiac and was one of the hit songs from the musical Hair. Name the song. Aquarius. Yes. Very good. Moving right along. Put him up there. Let's shuffle in the pot. $9,600 and four boxes left, Mary. Okay, I'll have to taste a famous lovers in the Tennessee Whiskey. Yes. Again, on the defensive, trying to block him off down there in the bottom left. For a diagonal block, Mary, here's your question. According to legend, this 12th century hero was in love with Maid Marion, who shared many adventures with him in the wilds of the English forest. For a diagonal block, name him. Robin Hood. Yes. You've done it again. Have a good block. Put it out there. In the pot. Now, $9,800. Getting close to that ten grand mark. Three boxes are left, and the categories that appear in them can decide who wins and who loses. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment. What's up? Eric has already won one of these. This happens when a champion defeats five opponents, but he's having difficulty getting number two. What are we talking about when we say it, Jim? For your driving pleasure, Eric, it's another brand new car. <laughs> Eric may get another brand new car. <laughs> right now, Eric is beginning to wonder, will he ever get another new car? And of course, Mary has other ideas. Okay, we have $9,800 in the pot as we continue. Three boxes remaining on the board. It can go either way. Let's shuffle. <laughs> Movie, Joe's and Joseph's, and World War II. Like right, Joe's and Joseph's in the bottom center, please. The category, bottom center, Joe's and Joseph. Eric, answer this question correctly, and the pot will break the $10,000 cash mark. Here's the question. On the Hardy Boys TV series, brothers Frank and Joe investigated strange mysteries. Actor Parker Stevenson played the role of Frank. I want you to name the popular teen idol who played Joe. Sean Cassidy? Yes, that's right. <laughs> On the Hardy Boys. And an F goes in that box. And the pot is now worth $10,000 in cash. We're now down to two boxes on the big board. The categories that show up will decide if we have a win or the sixth tie between Eric and Mary. First order of business, of course, on the board is a shuffle. <laughs> Joe's and Joseph and one-word titles, Mary. When I'll take Joe's and Joseph for the block. All right, if you answer this question correctly, Mary, we will have the sixth tie between you two, and here is the question. In the 1949 classic movie Mighty Joe Young, the title character was a huge African animal who brought to New York to star in a nightclub act. For a sixth tie, what sort of creature was Mighty Joe? Ape. Right, or gorilla. You got it, you have another tie. And Mary, I see a big smile on your mom's face out there. She's delighted for you, and we are too. And Eric, we're delighted for you. <laughs> wow. How many ties? This is one of the most exciting combinations of players we've seen on Tic Tac Joe in quite some time. And of course, Eric is the gentleman who came on and knocked off our all-time game-winning champion, not only for this show, but for all time on all game shows. Eric, I, I guess you're kind of still getting, getting the feel of doing that, aren't you? Well, compared to Tom, yes. Yeah, that was, of course, Tom McKee. And Mary, are you nervous? You look like you're feeling more at home now. Yeah, a little bit. Marvelous what a few correct answers will do, yeah. huh? And the $10,200 pot. We're going to show you nine new categories. 
and then we'll get another game underway. Here they are. Famous first, television roles, fads and follies, maps of nations, geology, scary things, the 20, secret category, that can be any category at all, and the correct answer in that category automatically doubles the pot. Ninth category on the board, take a letter. All right, we're all set and ready to go. Eric, as always, champ goes first. What would you like? I'd like to try geology in the center, please. We're $300 to the pot, a little hard in, so that would give you some extra time. I'll describe two valuable gemstones, Eric, each of which is a prized but impure variety of the mineral. Corundum. You name the gemstone. One, this costly variety of corundum is red in color because of the presence of chromium oxide. Secondly, this expensive gem is blue because it contains iron and titanium. Think about that. Eric, again, I'll describe the two gemstones, each of which is a prized but impure variety of the mineral corundum. You name the gemstone. One, this costly variety of corundum is red in color because of the presence of chromium oxide. That's a ruby. That is a ruby, correct. To complete your answer and to put an X in the center box, this expensive gem is blue because it contains iron and titanium. Sapphire? Right! You got the center box. X goes there. And they say these questions are easy sometimes. $300 the pot takes it up to $10,500. Let's move the categories around and move it on over to Mary. Your decision, Doctor. Okay, I'll take uh, Famous First. Famous First. All righty, here's the question. And Mary, this organization was founded in 1776 as the first Greek letter fraternity in the United States. The traditional key given to its members has come to symbolize high academic college achievement. Name this fraternity. Phi Beta Kappa. Women. Yes. I better tap a good for a no on the board. Let's shuffle. Two hundred dollars added to the pot takes it to ten thousand seven hundred. Eric, I'd like to try famous first, please, on the left side. All righty, again in the category. Eric, the face of history was changed on July sixteenth, nineteen forty-five, when the world's first atomic bomb was exploded near Alamogordo in the southwestern state. Name the state. New Mexico. Yes, Alamogordo, New Mexico. What does that say? Let's move them around again. Another $200. Take it to 10,009, Mary. Okay, I'm going to have to take two roles uh, to block. All right, for a block, Mary, if you answer this question correctly on television roles, you will have a successful block of Eric and keep this game going strong. Here's your question. Claude Aiken stars in this comedy about the misadventures of a rural sheriff and his two zany deputies. For a block, what is the sheriff's last name? Lobo. Yes. Sheriff Lobo, the vicious ventures of his. Got to go there for a block. Let's shuffle him again. <laughs> and if you'll note the pot, we've moved over the $11,000 mark now, Eric. 11 one Tempting, but I think I'll try the 20s, please. The 1920. Top right. Question is this. In 1928, Alexander Fleming discovered one of the most powerful germ killers known to man. It was derived from a mold that had accidentally started growing in one of Fleming's cultures. Name this wonder drug. Penicillin. Yes, that's right. Penicillin, put an X there. And another $200 goes into the pot. That brings the total to $11,300 and still four boxes remaining. Let's move them around. Categories are TV rolls, the 20, secret category, and take a letter, Mary. Well, I'm blocking again, this time with the 20s, hopefully. The 1920s for a diagonal block. Here's the question, Mary, in that category. In 1927, a sculptor began carving the faces of four presidents in the face of a South Dakota mountain. For a block, diagonally on the big board, name the mountain. Rushmore. Yes, Mount Rushmore. Good for another block. An O goes in that box. Another $200 goes into the pot as it gets bigger and bigger with every answer. $11,500 you're working for now. And on the board, three boxes are left. Let's see what subjects come up as we shuffle them around. We see TV rolls, secret category, and take a letter. I'll try the secret category, please. All right. The secret category is holidays. Holidays. Answer the question correctly, and the pot will double to exactly $23,000. Although he was born in Britain, the Irish people regard him as the patron saint of Ireland 
and honor him in an annual holiday. To make that pot jump up to $23,000, Eric Nainan. St. Patrick. Right! St. Patrick. <laughs> so we add another $11,500 as we sweeten the pot considerably. It is now worth $23,000. We are down to two boxes, and the categories that show up will decide if we have a win or a seventh tie. By the way, the record number of ties ever on Tic Tac Show, that would be it. Will they pull it off? Will we have another tie? We're going to find out right after we come back. Don't go away. Some of our departing investments will receive some of the following. A master mechanic 10-gallon shop back from True Value Hardware Stores to provide value and personal service in over 5,000 locations nationwide. Also, my suppression first aid ointment contains three antibiotics that kill nine of the bacterial organisms which can cause infection. For triple protection against infection, my... Plus a five-piece set by Washington. Right. Avenue Tone Fleet with a hand stainless steel plate. Right. A sharp long right. Also, like Mads the manicurist says, right. all of this was right. up in hand, right? All these mixed so thick, long last. Two bucks I left on the back in the pot. Twenty thousand dollars. Let's see what happens as we shuffle. <laughs> the subjects that are on the board, TV rolls, and take a letter. Mary, it is your turn. Wink, I'll take TV rolls for the block. Mary, I will inform you, as if you didn't know already, that if you answer this question correctly, we will have the seventh tie on Tic Tac Show between you and Eric. And that is a record number of ties ever on this show. Mary, good luck. Here is the question. Our comedy three company, Simon Fell and Audra Lindley, play a constantly bickering married couple. Later, they had their own comedy theater. To set a record on Tic Tac Show for your seventh tie, what were the characters' last names? The Ropers. You got it, and we got a record. <laughs> Eric, we've been setting records right and left on Tic Tac Joe and Game Show Business, right? First it was yeah. Tom McKee, the biggest game show ever, and now, of course, you come along and you're trying to... He's going to try to stay around here and break Tom's record, of course. Mary just breaks the record for number of ties. <laughs> of course, she did that with, with Eric over there. But congratulations to you both. Very, very exciting series of games. And in the pot, take a look. Eric, uh, do you read as I read? 23-2? That's the number I get. Mary, what do you get when you read that? Same thing. $23,200 in uh, cash. We are going to play a new game now with nine new categories. Eight games. And the pot will continue to grow with the correct answer. Here are the subjects. Bearded men, women in film, mixed words, sleuth, the odd one, China, popular music, classical music, and biographies or bios. Time to select, Eric. Yeah? Wink, I'd like to try the odd one in the center, please. The odd one in the center worth 300 to the pot. Eric, of the six coins currently minted by the United States Treasury, only one has the portrait of a president on one side and the picture of his home on the other. First, I want you to name the president and follow that with the name of his famous home. Think about that. Again, of the six coins currently minted by the Treasury, one has the portrait of a president on one side and the picture of his home on the other. Eric, first, name the president. Washington? No, it's Thomas Jefferson, and the famous home is the Monticello. Monticello, I believe. The nickel. The nickel is the coin. One of the six coins. Still $23,200 in cash in the pot. Let's shuffle. Mary? Okay, I'm going to take the odd one. All right, the odd one, the subject. Mary, I'll name three states, only one of which did not secede from the Union during the Civil War. Was it Kentucky, Tennessee, or Texas? Which did not win? Yeah, which one did not secede from the Union during Kentucky. the Civil War? Pardon? Kentucky. Yes, Kentucky. State of Kentucky. Put it over there, the odd one. Let's shuffle them around and add another $200 to the pot. All right, Eric, got you on the run now. I'll have to take bearded men in the center. In the center, where 300 to the pot. Again, it's a two-parter. Only five of the 38 men to hold the office of President of the United States wore beards. Here is your expert... 
Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that wasn't on the card, so I want you to name two of the five. Think about that. <laughs> Eric, five of the 38 men to hold the office of president wore beards. I want you to name two of the five. Lincoln. Right. And Hayes. Right. Abraham Lincoln and Rutherford D. Hayes. The others were Harrison, Garfield, and Grant. We put an X there. Let's move the categories around. 300 added to the takes it to $23,700, Mary. Hey, Lauren, let me try bios in the lower right-hand corner. Biography. Question. This Oscar-winning Swedish actress has written an autobiography entitled My Story, in which she describes her headline-making affair with a famous Italian film director, Roberto Rossellini. Name her. Bergman. Yes. Ingrid Bergman, going for an over there, another $200 to the pop. Takes it to $23,900, and at this critical moment, we pause. We'll be back. Which one of your favorite... Watch for the results of the match tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Come on, buddy. I think you receive some of the following. Ray Rossman Hornet Killer at Joe Rossman Hornets in the nest from up to 12 feet away. Also, deep woods off the insect repellent that this protects against extra tough mosquitoes and biting flies. Plus, liquid shop with a triple powered jet that concentrates power, penetrates deep. What a tough stain out, unleash the power and shout it out. Also, beautiful audition footwear designed for today's woman who appreciates design and styling, outstanding quality, and superb comfort. Experience the difference with auditions by Craddock Terry. Plus, rain dance, high wax, hatch, bell, fast, the leading dealer applied. Body wax, water beating, proves it, the pot guarantees it.